Welcome back to In the Garden. I'm here with Jordan from Grange Co-op. And today, if you can't guess, we're talking about bird feeders and feeding beautiful little birds that fly into your front or backyards. And so we have a lot of options here mm -hmm. to feed, you know, some cool birds. So let's start us off, Jordan. What do we need to know when, when feeding beautiful birds? This is definitely a hobby that a lot of people get sucked into. Um, there's about 45 million people who consider themselves hobbyist birders in the States. I know that I got hooked up into it moving from suburban California to the woods in Oregon. Mm -hmm. And you start to get really hooked in like identifying these birds and seeing them. And unlike some other hobbies, it's the easiest thing to get into. You just need bird seed, a bird feeder, and your eyes or ears. Perfect. Uh, to start off, most people are probably familiar with a mix of bird seed. Uh, they're pretty ubiquitous. Most bird seeds are gonna have several things in common as far as ingredients go. You have your sunflower seed, safflower, millet, cracked corn. Some fancier seeds will even have like tree nuts or uh, mealworms, other little goodies. The wider a range of ingredients you have in your bird seed, the more birds you're going to attract because the birds are all adapted to a certain kind of feeder or a certain kind of feed and that also a certain kind of feeder too. So switching that up makes a big difference. Right, and you can also make your own bird feed as well. Definitely. Um, almost all the ingredients that you're gonna find in a mix, you can get separately. Uh, and then, like I said, you can put in your own things. You can do dried fruits and veggies they'll like too. Um, like, you know, for example, we have safflower seed, uh, black striped sunflower for your bigger birds. Uh, things like different kind of sunflower seeds more tree nuts, there's a ton of options out there. Right, and speaking of you know the variety of birds, it, that also kind of depends on what kind of bird feeder you actually get, right? So like, you know, maybe smaller birds like, you know, something like this, exactly. and like a bigger bird might like something like these. Exactly, if you only have one feeder out there, you will still attract birds, but they're gonna be fighting for it. And some of your shyer birds are probably gonna be, you know, not too eager to show up when your bigger birds like blue jays take up all the room. So having a couple different bird feeders, spreading them out over your yard and in different areas is gonna let everyone have their share. Right, and then something that you told me earlier that I didn't know was birds are attracted to the sound of water. So if you have a little like waterfall creek in your backyard or something that's, that has the sound of flowing of water, it'll attract more birds, right? Yep. Uh, a fountain or something that, right. you know, having both is really gonna spread the diversity. Now. That being said, if you're gonna put up bird seed, you're gonna have water, you might attract some other pest. If you're concerned about those other pests and you don't wanna deal with that, consider doing more of a bird-friendly landscape and having that water source so you can still enjoy them and be a part of that hobby without necessarily worry about other creature visitors. All right, awesome. Well, if you guys want to learn more on how to feed the beautiful birds here we have here in Southern Oregon, then of course you can go to a Grange Co-op store or you can go to our website at kdrv.com. Thank you so much for joining us in the garden.